नमस्कार मैं सुमन घोष और आप देख रहे हैं न्यूज साइट आज मैं मौजूद हूँ दिल्ली के पी वी आर सेलेक्सिटी वॉक में जहाँ आज पी एस वन का प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस चल रहा है और हमारे साथ काफी गेस्ट मौजूद है तो चलिए चलते हैं प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की ओर Everyone, come on. Let's welcome Bhagati. Bhagati. It's okay. Quite tricky to say. It's Bhagati, and then Karthi as Vandya Devan, the beautiful and lovely Trisha as Kundhavi. Is that right, Kundhavi? And Chirag Vikram as Aditya Karikalan, the lovely and gorgeous Ishwarya Rai Bachchan as Nandini. and our money ratnam sir the man of the hour everyone please put your hands together questions that the media is going to ask you but before that what i can see right now on this stage is a lot of talent in one frame so much talent and you all look so beautiful so gorgeous amazing and this looks such a promising movie and i think we all should celebrate this movie together because it's a movie about indian history something that we might know we might not know but i'm sure that when we are going to see this movie we'll be closer to our indian history after watching it right so we'll start with our first question from jim ravi i want to ask you the first and foremost thing how are you feeling after being in delhi a very good evening to everyone hi hi <laughs> It's a lovely feeling being in Delhi because uh, I have a little connection with Delhi. Okay. Uh, because whenever there is an Ifi uh, festival, Indian film festival. Right. So I used to be here. Help to me, and it's been wonderful. The journey has been wonderful. Thank you, all of you for that. Wow. So that means you have actually discovered Delhi like a local idol, and that's great, right? Yes, of course. All right. So that was a brilliant answer. Coming up to you, Shobita. Um I'm sorry for saying it wrong you have to tell the media what is it called your character No I I want you to say it right <laughs> <laughs> You'll say it and then I'll repeat after you Okay Vanati Vanati Yes Vanati that's the right pronunciation Vanati <laughs> All right um you're a bundle of talent we have seen you on the OTT you've, you've just you know captured the digital platform so well but I want to know from you that um is it different while shooting for a digital platform or for the big screen cinema is it difficult is it different what is your take on that as an actor your job largely remains the same which is to be as truthful and uh, as honest with your performance uh, but i think you you when there's when it's fleshed out a lot more you enjoy that sometimes that happens in films and sometimes on uh, in a show So I think it's it's some stories are beautiful when they're told uh, through a show form format, and sometimes I think uh, some some stories belong with the theatrical experience. So I think as an actor, my job is unaffected by that. Yeah, and you are truly magical on the screen, regardless. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Don't be an actor. Sab chalega. All right. Coming to you, sir. um we want to know your experience of shooting this larger than life movie we want to know from you because you can also give us some history lessons we have seen on the internet so want to know that from you hi everybody uh, like ravi i also have a connection with delhi but close of home my wife studied here and lived here all her life 
I was compelled to like Delhi even before I got here. She tell me stories about food, about the places, whatever, whatever she did here. Once I came here, I realized it was all true. It's one of the most nicest places I've ever been. Uh, this is a wonderful film, which all of us are so proud to be a part of. This is something that's happened like in the ninth to tenth century. It was then, and it's it's based on a book. I think Kart is the best expert on that, so I'll, I'll, I'll skip that part. I, I think all of us have very, very, very interesting characters in this, and I'm doing my dream, dream character in this called Aditya Karigalan, who was seen him on the horse. That was me. Uh, I don't know if you recognize me now, but that's me. And uh, I've always wanted to do that, do a role that's princely and look regal and look beautiful. And like, how much more spectacular can it get than when it's done in a Mani Ratnam sir's movie? And it's another dream come true for me. And I'm so proud to be a part of this wonderful film and working with such a lovely, accomplished star cast. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot. Coming up to you, Trisha, you are looking absolutely beautiful. Look at that smile. We all love her, don't we? Come on. <laughs> all right, Trisha, I've seen you uh, with some really heavy jewelry in the movie, right? It looks so authentic. We want to know from you, was it real and how difficult was it shooting with all that, you know, gehnas on you, all that jewelry? Of course it was real. Manisa would not have it any other way. Um, Firstly, good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming here to support us. It means a lot to us, and um, I'm so happy to be in the capital. To be honest, I have frequently come to Delhi, but this is my first time I'm coming here uh, for a film, and that means a lot to me to be over here, uh, part of this magnum opus, and sharing stage with, like uh, Kenny said, some of the most accomplished actors and to be part of Manisa's film, to play Kundavai in this film. And um, Kundavai is a character that a lot of people have grown up reading. They have already uh, visualized her, they already have been inspired by her, they have an opinion about her. So I hope that I have done justice to Kundavai. I'm sure Manisa would, uh, would, would, be, um, would answer that question better. And, well, coming back to your question, yes, the jewellery was very, very real, head to toe. Even the things we, uh, Kundavai, or any of us wore on our heads or toes or ankles were all real jewellery, because I think that would contribute to the magnitude and grandeur of the film, which was very necessary. It had to be real to look a certain way. So, and yes, it, to also answer your second question, it was very tough, because it took about 40 minutes to get into it. For both the men and the women, usually I feel the heroines take longer to get ready, but in this case, it was pretty hard for the guys as well. We were all uh, up at 2 a.m. getting ready, and uh, but it was fun because we were doing it together in this today. Exactly, that's the so good. The horses took time to get ready. Even the horses, horses took time to so get ready. Yeah, true that. <laughs> so much grandeur, even for the horses. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, we have the legend with us, Mani Ratnam sir. Everyone, can we all please give a big hand? So, so many people tried making this movie over the past few decades. So many people tried it, but finally, you are the one bringing it on the big cinemas. We want to know the journey of it all from you. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad to be here. Uh, amongst the many people who have tried before, I was also one of them. I've tried it several times. I think it is for a particular reason probably we couldn't do it at that point of time. Today is probably the more appropriate time for this kind of film because technology has improved vastly and so we were able to achieve a lot of it with a kind of a realistic look and not like a, a make-believe. So I think it was for that purpose it was left behind, and uh, we're very glad that it, it's been a it's been a long journey. I mean, I remember reading this book when I was in school, and from then it has been a very very inspiring book, inspiring every you know everyone in Tamil Nadu who's read it. Kalki is the name of the author who's read who's written this, and it used to be a rage when it was published as a weekly. And um, since then, over these all these decades, 
it has been the best selling book in every book fair in you know down south so it is a very special book and a lot of people have their own memories of it their own vision of it and they they almost own it so the only way i could do it is to believe that i also own it and i've tried to do my best with with the help of each and every one of them all of them are put in everything including the technicians who are all brilliant and um, if if at all the movie is shaped up somewhere it's because of all of them exactly you are really looking forward to 30th september to see that grandeur on the big screen and now coming to the goddess of beauty with us ishwarya rai bachchan come on everyone please put your hands together we are always so delighted to see you on the big screens and once again we can see you there and the trailer in the trailer you look so so godly you have that charm you know you you are a true you true beauty look meri awaaz ladkara rahi hai inse baat karte hue that's the charm of ashwarya rai bachchan here guys aapse sirf ye janna chahti hu what was your experience filming shooting with this entire star cast such talent and this larger than life movie firstly thank you so very much for your generosity it's a bit much uh, but i'm very very humbled and uh, thank you very very much i'd like to thank everybody here um, who has come out to support our film showing us our love and giving us your good wishes and blessings so thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening good evening namaskar namaste vanakkam namaskaram and um, i could say it in every language possible but being indian we'll stick with namaste and thank you so much for being here uh, this movie is uh, a labor of love and um, beginning with our guru mari sir and when you just asked him that uh, you know and i was listening to him and i've heard him say it so often and he always says i'm glad you know uh, he made it now he doesn't know how glad we all are that he made it now talk about uh, he can say it is the right time but for each one of us here sitting in front of you and everybody involved in the making of pony and selvan uh, we are very very grateful that this is the right time we surely have been in the right place and with complete gratitude to you sir that we are part of your dream project that we got to be part of this narrative on celluloid it is uh, uh, kalki sir's classic and uh, you know everybody uh, in the south is very very familiar with the books and uh, you know it's it's very close to everybody's heart who has read the book uh, the series of books actually but um, uh, when uh, you discover the story and you must and you will uh, through this uh, through both these movies you will know exactly why it is such an exciting uh, enticing interesting riveting narrative and uh, yes it gives you an insight into history and yet it has the magic of how and where it's been fictionalized and that is why one can see why uh, a filmmaker like uh, mani sir would want to bring this on celluloid as his dream project and how fortunate we are that we got to be a part of his dream film because it said in uh, the mani ratnam style on celluloid and we got to be part of that i have had the good fortune of being part of several movies which are uh, you know which have had larger than life narratives and i get often asked that how is this special this is a mani ratnam movie and that's what makes it super special and when you go and watch it you'll know exactly why um as an artist i got to be part of uh, such an amazing uh, group of talents that have come together to work uh, committedly and in absolute sincerity um as we not have it any different in a mani ratnam film in a mani ratnam production we all come in like students we commit uh, wholeheartedly um Three o'clock in the morning is the norm. We don't even think about it. It's a given, but it's natural, and we see why. It is uh, like, like I said, it is. Uh, we all know it as Brahm Murth. We all know it as Suprabhat uh, Hour. But you see why magic happens. There, there is wisdom in early to rise and getting to work. 
And magic happens when we're all there in it together. Um, what an incredible cast, what an in amazing group of technicians, and what a committed group of crew members, uh, assistant directors, um, people who have worked on set design, uh, people who have worked on you know, taking care of even uh, the animals or on, on film, all the artists and all the um, added crew members and added artists who have been part of the film. Uh, the the costuming, you know, I mean, everybody you see it and you go, wow, but the kind of hard work that goes into the planning, the every day of getting everything together, like you talk about the jewelry, that's one aspect, but authenticity from head to toe of every character and to hit timelines and to go out there and to be able to allow us as actors to comfortably become the characters takes a lot of work of all uh, the crew members and um, yeah, there we are doing our work. We enjoy your uh, appreciating our work on celluloid, but there are so many who will come in on those end titles that go so quickly. Um, but full respect, absolute applause for the hard work put in by every one of them and all our gratitude to all of them. So thank you once again, Manigaru, for having us on board for having me yet again in your film, and uh, it's never enough. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. So beautifully answered. And yes, we are ready to see that on the screen on 30th September. All the hard work is going to finally pay off at that time for everyone involved in the movie. It's already paid off for us. <laughs> <laughs> the day or the, was the last day of the making of the film, and he has said it's done. Uh, it's paid up for us uh, completely. So we are just grateful to be part of it and we will cherish this forever. But yes, we'd love for the audience also to enjoy viewing it as much as we did making it. Absolutely, absolutely. I feel that every film that Mani Ratnam sir makes is, at, is an absolute delight for the audiences as well. It's a gift to the audiences from Mani sir. So really looking forward for that. And now coming up to our Bundle of talent there, Karthi with us. Come on everyone, can we all please give him a big round of applause. We feel that he has gone through the most history lessons. He knows the movie inside out. That's the, that's the man. That's yes, the man. you both are, you both are. And we know a little secret that you have been the assistant director for Mani Ratnam. It's not a secret. <laughs> So, but now you are one of the lead actors in his movie. So, how's the journey been and how's been your experience? Well, yeah, you have time. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, I already said it. <laughs> Very good evening to everybody. I think uh, for me, it's the first time as an actor in Delhi. It's such a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you for coming and supporting us. I started my life, uh, I would say life itself, as an ID with money, sir, because that's when I discovered what I wanted to do in life. I wanted to be something in films. And I wanted to learn filmmaking with money, sir. And uh, all the discipline that I have till today and uh, the passion that I would love to have is all what I've learned watching money, sir, at work. So uh, from being an assistant director and then taking one small gap saying, sir, I'm getting a chance to act. If it doesn't work out, I'll come back to you. <laughs> and I went out with that word that he would take me back. Thankfully, the film worked and then my journey changed. I became an actor. But then again, I had to come back and work with Sir in 2017, where I thought I completely relearned everything. That's one experience all of us have as actors that you come here, you unlearn so many things and you relearn things. You know, that's a very important part of my life where uh, I got another push in the sense of the way I approach the characters or the way I select films or what kind of films I would want to do. You know, rather than running after success, you have to run after happiness or what satisfies you. You know, that gave me a lot of clarity in how I approach work at all. So I think um, the, the peace that I have or the, the energy that I have to go to shoot, I think it all comes from money, sir. I cannot say thanks because you know, he's given it to me <laughs> and I'm a student. But this film, I think, is too special for all of us, for money, sir, himself. And uh, like we've heard uh, films which have been made from books. Like we know of Harry Potter, we know of Lord of the Rings which have become classics, where people have read the books and come and watch the film, then gone back and read the books again, become big uh, bestsellers. But now in India, this is one time, we're so proud to bring this film to you. 
This book which was written in 1950 as a series and then published in 1955 and till today it's one of the best selling books. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's feeding so many publishers till today. It's, it's, it's sold so much and finally now it's being made into a film where it is in a format where we are talking about our heritage and culture but it also gives such an engaging screenplay, an engaging story for all of us to watch about characters. Um, so it's not a history lesson, but rather it's a very interesting film and it's historical fiction. So there are about 40% uh, of it which really happened thousand years back and the rest is fictionalized so beautifully by uh, Kalki sir. So we're all very proud to be just part of it. I, I was telling sir, sir, even if you want me to act as horse, I would act sir, as a horse. <laughs> That's how much everybody wanted to be part of it. And um, this particular film, I think sir really enjoyed making it. You know, he's always set standards for uh, visuals and music. And when joining with Rahman sir and presenting this film with Ravi Varman sir, and all three of them, what they've done on screen was pure magic for us. Because we do not have a visual for how India looked thousand years back. We do not know. But now we're getting a visual to imagine how our forefathers lived here in India and uh, how prolific they were, what, how trades was happening or how rich they were in sense of art and culture when the rest of the world was still trying to, you know, form families and uh, become a civilization. We already had built temples, we already had literature, poetry. So I think it's something which we have to give to our children. In that way, I think we are very, very proud of this film. And uh, thank you for all your love and support. And like Sir said, I've said the good things before in other interviews. Sir has stopped hitting his assistants. So that way, we are all safer now. <laughs> Thank you so much. And now I'm sure the media is all set and ready to ask a lot of questions. So the floor is all open for the media Q&A. Thank you. Hello, hi. Nice to see you all again. So, let's see was something we kind of worked on even in the film because besides uh, looking physically different of course because we had to belong to that era I felt like when I was playing from the wife it was actually a woman of today very strong very empowered something that I could totally relate to so that part of Kundavai was something I feel like I took from today but I'm just put it in her but of course she looked different she looked like a girl who belonged to that era so that part of it was something that I think, I mean, I don't know how Kalki sir wrote it because the women are so strong. Sometimes even in some scenes, maybe slightly overpowering the men and having a stand. So that was really challenging. It's not like we're just standing there like princesses and queens. We're actually like over there with brain power and using our intelligence in the kingdom. And especially back in that era, it was kind of frowned upon because there are dialogues even in the film saying, She's, she's a woman, why is she walking into a courtroom where there are 20 men and saying these things? But that's the kind of strength the women had in Korean So, yeah, that was, uh, that's why it was more challenging to play. Power to Kalki sir to have written this at the time that he did. Um, considering he was delving into a, a slice of, a very, very uh, impactful slice of history, and uh, making it, uh, making the narrative into, uh, like I said earlier, and uh, engaging and enticing uh, fictionalized piece. Then to write in characters and women to, um, excuse me, so you're in Hawaii. Thank you. <laughs> right. And to uh, write characters, the, the women, in the way that he has with the, um, um, who, like, like the ladies here will uh, have already said and will agree with uh, me that they are contemporary. They are they are they are eternal. They are they are women uh, who will be relatable at any point in time because women have always been strong. 
women have just been given opportunity differently at different times down the ages. So um, what we women know is we have always had the intelligence. We have always looked for the opportunity to have um, contributed directly or we definitely have it directly forever. <laughs> and um, you know, charted the course of events, of life itself, of um, contributing to the, the thinking power of uh, our um, opposite gender uh, in all the interactions because frankly, we're all human beings. You know, uh, I mean, I don't get uh, into an entire narrative about now gender equality, but that the fact is that as people, um, we have always pretty much experienced just being human beings, and we all have thinking power, we all have experiences, and we all pretty much react. We uh, we are human beings capable of of reaction, of contribution, of uh, having an opinion. And it's wonderful in this narrative how uh, the women too um, have it or find a way of expressing it. And very honestly, who better than Mani Ratnam as a maker to have um, brought the characters, the, the leading ladies uh, in the narrative uh, to life on celluloid because that's something I can say from experience in every movie I've worked with him. I've had the opportunity to to be that uh, that lady uh, or, or or the female character in his narrative. It's amazing. That's something he always also refers to. He's like, "What are you thinking?" As an actor, he wants the actor to bring to life the thought behind. It's not just the dialogue that is being said or a scene. He he likes us to bring to uh, bring what's within to form. And it's always been about the mind. It's always been about intelligence is not defined uh, is not defined in the conventional way, but intelligence has always been attributed to the ladies. I have had to essay with her whether it was Pushpa, whether it was Kalpana, whether it was Suju, Sujata, whether it was Ragini, and today Nandini. So I'm very very grateful that at every point in time, the women in his narrative are always strong, and they always bring. Uh, bring substance uh, to the narrative. So it's just very, very uh, engaging and exciting for us. Thank you, Pooja. Hello, everyone. One minute, even one minute, one minute. Sh uh, Shobita needs to answer this too. Please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Oh, sorry. Hi, Pooja. Hi. Hi. Um, um, my experience has been, uh, been slightly off center in the sense that I've largely played parts that were slightly more uh, uh, steep in, in the kind of stories they belonged in. Uh, they were slightly more intense. And this was an opportunity for me to play somebody who was nimble-footed, someone who was light-hearted, you know, someone who was uh, happy and uncorrupted by uh, human politics. Um, but what was interesting to me was that with Manisa, I discovered that innocence, something that my character, Vanati, embodies, <laughs> uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be coy or like, you know, my man, Shadmili. It doesn't necessarily have to be just that. Absolute truthfulness. There is also sort of innocence in that, you know, in, in, in just speaking your mind and having, like thinking aloud, there's a certain innocence and naivety in that. And that is the version of innocence that he was excited to represent. So that, that really excited me. And I think I, I discovered joy uh, for myself through the character as well. So that was special. Hi. Hi, everybody. Seema Dhawan on here. Uh, uh, the film is an, is an adaptation of the novel which was written 70 years ago and it's written in five volumes. How challenging was it for you to condense it into two parts? I'd be lying if I say it is, was not challenging, it was. Because I think the way he is written, you know, and uh, they could have made ten parts of it, you know, each book could have been made into two movies easily. There's so much uh, material. So much details, so many characters which were interesting in so many 
events that were happening and representing. But uh, film needs a certain amount of structure, and this is a structure that we chose to be to bring it into two part. And um, so there were parts which we have to you now condense and we have to bridge it. And um, but apart from that, the core. The core of the novel and the core of the movie will be the same. The heart of it will be to a closer to what Kalki had written. That was what we were aiming at. Hi, Ashu. Uh, my question for Vikram. Hi, sir. You've already uh, worked with Ashwara before in Ravan. So, how it was to like reunite with her again and that too with the Mani Atman film? <laughs> How was the experience? How do you define her as a uh, your co actor? Uh, I think uh, India has some of the most beautiful women in the world. And proof is that we've got gotten almost every uh, uh, beauty pageant. We won almost every title. It's been going on for years. And in fact, actually, incidentally, I'm sitting on stage with three. You know, Miss Chennai, Miss everyone knows and you're also. So <laughs> that's another thing to work on. But the thing is, all of them, they've been fabulous. But I don't know why. She's always stolen everyone's heart. I mean, it do respects to these two people here. Every time, there, there have been many women who have been queens. But Ash has always been symbolic of that picture of perfection that we always look up to. And. Uh, I really didn't, I mean, I've, I've seen her films, I watched her, and I think uh, uh, it wasn't just about her beauty, it was what she stood for, how she's always, I've always felt she's been under a microscope, it's so very difficult being her. She's constantly being watched, constantly needs to be perfect, and let me tell you, she has done it in style. Like, the first time I ever saw her was, I mean, she, was, she hadn't even got the title yet, I told her the other day, day before yesterday. I was in the crowd, I mean, I was still a struggling actor, I think, or I hadn't even gotten her. And as she walked in, suddenly the clock got caught in her leg and she stumbled. And I thought she's going to fall on her face. She stumbled, she did a couple of missteps, then she gathered her poise, came back and did the routine, whatever she was supposed to do. And there were so many of them, and, and it struck me this, this person is going, to, she's going places. I mean, it, it never, I don't know, I just, I, I, I sensed that in her the confidence, the poise, the grace. And she did become whoever she became. But what was nice is anywhere you go, even in Chennai, in South India, even till today, there will be jewelry stores, there will be uh, uh, sari stores with her picture. It always is that. <laughs> and finally, when I got to work with her, I saw the other side where she was professional. And I actually, I was lucky, actually, it's three films with her actually, because I'd done Ravan in Hindi too, where I was, I was paired opposite her again. And I like the way what she puts into her character and. Um, it's, it's very difficult, I mean, uh, now she's, actually in this movie it's even more difficult, but now she's a mother and she needs to spend time at home and she needs to give Abhishek his time, I'm sure. <laughs> and in spite of all that, get her line straight and Aradhya, and I mean, she's growing up so fast and I mean, it's, it, and she's still under the microscope. <laughs> and it's, it's such a scary place. You say, they always say, right, it's lonely at the top and it's very scary and Ash, I mean, it must be so scary being who you are. But it's so nice being with you, working with you, and enjoying that chemistry that, I don't know, somehow both our films, I think, we exude a kind of chemistry which, I mean, it's very organic. We've not really worked at it, but all our fans usually keep saying, it's so nice to see you all as a pair. And uh, the only thing is, I never get her in the movies. <laughs> they knock me off. <laughs> so I, exciting, different characters to play. Yeah, but how many I times do I have to die for you, Ash? <laughs> No, we'll keep them guessing, no. Here, let them go and figure out. <laughs> and the other person I have great chemistry is Trisha. And with her too, <laughs> one film, they knock me off. Why is that? I don't know. I think they like it. Now I'm her brother. I think I kind of like this too. <laughs> but uh, working in the, with her was that. And uh, what I like most about her as an actor is like I, I I'm very I study my character a lot. I'm very focused. I'm very persistent. I'm very committed to what I do. She is so meticulous in what she does. In every shot, I'll watch her. She'll ask Santosh, Santosh, is this the ring? And then she'll adjust the sari. She'll adjust it. And even if it's dirt, Manisha will say, okay, come ready, ready, ready. I'll go roll in the dust and come up. 
ash will get that one piece of stone, she'll keep it there, which will keep a straw, and the continuity will be perfect. No, no, not a millimeter this side, not a millimeter that side. Then the hair is just that one strand, no, no, not that hair, not that strand, the other strand, and stuff like that. And then when you see her dance, I mean, I definitely I competed with her when we were acting, it was obviously, but the thing is, in Hindi, when she was doing that song, I didn't realize, I was in the shot, I was holding a glass of wine, I think, and she's dancing, and I was watching her, and shot was running, and suddenly I realized, oh, I need to do something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like I actually, literally, I mean, I think that's the only time I've ever forgotten myself in a shot. It's an honest confession. I, she dances so beautifully. It's, it's beauty in motion, I mean, the music in motion, the way she dances. So, I mean, I'm also, I mean, obviously, one of your fans, and, it's such a great pleasure to work with you, Ash, and it's so nice to see you again, embody all that in your role in Nandini, and all of them have very strong roles. I mean, we have strong roles too, but the women are so empowered, and Nandini, I think, like how Hindu is so strong. Nandini, again, is a very, very strong character, and, and she's not the antagonist, I mean, to be very honest with Puja. She's more like, hi, Puja, everybody knows you. <laughs> There's no antagonism in this movie, I mean, I think so. It's, it's more about, it's, it's not even about grey. I think everybody's justified in what they want and what they want to achieve, what they've lost, what they've been betrayed at, and they, they fight for it. So all of us have a reason to be who we are, and all of us are flawed in a way, and I'm most flawed in this. And uh, it's so nice to do something like that in a Manisa's film, because it gives you that opportunity to explore and to try something very different. I've, I mean, every film that he's done has been so iconic and it's been so very, very, very different. The South, we call him the Steven Spielberg of India and he surely is that. I think he's on par with him. He tries to do something different every time and every time he hits it, hits the bullseye. And every time, what he does to the actor is so very different. What he expects from me and how he brings it out. He never goes to an actor and says, do this. Like, he tells them who they are what they've done. He's told me scenes from my childhood that's not there in the movie. And he'll inspire me to bring out something. And in Ravnan, it was, since I had 10 different characters playing in my head, we had a field day. Every every scene was, let's try this. No, no, let's make him more melan melancholy. Let's make him more pensive. No, he can be aggressive. Can he be vulnerable? So we would try the whole scene. And some, sometimes we reshoot that same scene again and again, or in Tamil, because we would block something that was really exciting. So working with him each time has been like working in a, you know, you know, like 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 being in an acting workshop. You forget you're an actor. I think all of us did, and I think this is one of those rare films. I think Manisha has, of course, done Marathi stars before. He's done huge films always, but this film is the only film I know, to my knowledge, which has only heroes and only heroes in the front, except maybe a couple of actors and the horses, of course, and the elephants. But other than that, everybody has been or is a hero or is a star of his own. And and we all are in that film because we know what he's capable of doing. And I was one of the first actors to be signed. But, and so I didn't get that opportunity to feel anticipation which every other actor in the industry must have felt in those first month or two when he was selecting the cast and when he must have thought, okay, let me think of this guy for this role, or let me think of Arun Nirvana, let me think of Pandey Devan, or let me think of Birya Palavichan. Everybody would have imagined himself in a particular role or in all the roles. Like I would have imagined myself in all the roles. They're such wonderful roles and they're so much more wonderful when they are with the maestro. Thank you, sir. And I must just add this, I'm sorry, just take another minute. We had taken Ravan to Venice, I had the pleasure of watching it in an auditorium and it was not the press, it was not critics, it was not anybody connected to the cinema. And uh, they wanted us to just step in and it was a general audience. And, um, we started and Marisa said, let's go. I said, it's an Italian audience, let's just sit and let's just watch it again. And after another half an hour, I said, shall we go? We've seen enough of this. I said, let's, let's watch. Because we'd seen a lot of shows. We've been traveling around. When the movie got over, and we got up to go, and as they stood up, two couples ran up, because I think they were late. Then the others started clapping. And uh, we, we were, of course, overjoyed. The whole auditorium clapped, and they were saying, bravo, maestro, bravo. And uh, it felt so good being there. And we were standing there because five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and he says, are you trolling us? I mean, should we leave? Uh, and I said to him, no, 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 I, I, no, so I think it's general. Let's just wait, sir. He said, should we go? Uh, wait. You won't believe, I swear, I'm not even kidding. They clapped for more than five minutes for what this man was able to bring on that screen. 
And what was nice is they were not they were not influenced by any story. They didn't know anything about any of the movies that could have any of the stories that could have been a background for Ravana. They just saw the craft. They saw what he could bring about and how he could encase and showcase India. They loved it. And I again through their eyes, I saw what he saw. It was so beautiful what they saw, how they saw India. And again you're going to see something from the ninth or tenth dynasty, the Chola dynasty, which was one of the greatest dynasties of all time in India. And uh, the best maritime, uh, I mean the naval unit that they had, there, that was the biggest uh, maritime uh, uh, army that they had. And they conquered all the way from Gujarat down, Goa, Kerala, China, I mean Ceylon, Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Orissa, um, all the way to Burma, then they went to Malaysia, they went to Indonesia, and then they sent emissaries to China because he was so smart, he, the, the king, that's Rajaraja Chodan and his father and his uh, son, they wanted to conquer all the ports because that's the only way trade was what is most important. Everybody had to pass through these trade, through these ports, and that's what they did. And that's the story that we're, we're, sh we're showcasing in this, and it's so nice that we're all part of this, and it's so nice that someone like Manisa can bring about that authenticity, bring it on screen, and I, I'm just so, so sure you're all are going to be enthralled when you watch it. Thank you, Manisa, once again for having us on this, on board, and I've always, I was jealous of Karthi because Karthi has been an AD, so I cheated, and during this, making of this movie, I also was an AD for a couple of scenes, and gave me greater pleasure than being an actor, being an AD. And thank you, Karthi, he stopped beating the ADs, so I was lucky. Thanks again. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you. Uh, towards your right, um, uh, the question is for uh, Mani, sir. Uh, the book was written, the book, uh, five part series, was written in 1950. Uh, when you adapt it in 2022, uh, a lot has changed. Uh, people get easily offended. So, was it a challenge to adapt it uh, in or for the present times to make it more relevant? And ultimately, it is a story from the pages of history. So, how relevant is it in the present times? I think it's, uh, it's something that is set a thousand years back, written 70 years back, but I think it is totally relevant today. You know, I think uh, whatever the film speaks about is relevant today and uh, that is why there have been so many attempts to make it during the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, so it was relevant in all those periods. There's some elements which don't change. Human nature doesn't change, and you know the the, the struggle, the struggle for power, the the and growth, and desire, angst, jealousy, all that doesn't change. It is inherent and it is reflected in different forms. So this is the beauty of the book is that it captures that. It's the soul, the heart of it captures something which has stayed this long. And uh, it was difficult to adapt it, but not for the reason whether it's relevant today. It's absolutely relevant. It was difficult because he had written it so beautifully. May I add to that, please? Uh, this story has all that, but uh, Sobhita rightly said yesterday, she said, there's another factor that we need to add in. It's about love, it's about romance. What You love something. All of us have romances in this film. Every, every, every character has a love story going. Even Anandini actually has a love story going with power with the throne while she's got one with me, while she's got one with her husband, what, and everybody, like Karthik has a love for adventure and he's like, every woman loves him and he is besotted by, yeah, and he loves every woman <laughs> and, and uh, of course he's captivated by uh, um, Kundamai's character, likewise she is in love again with uh, Ravi and Ravi of course is in love with nothing, he wants to become a, a second, he wants to become a hermit and a I mean, contrary to what he is in real life. Uh, so it's like that. It's every character, there's so much of love, and I think love is universal, and love can never, you know, grow time. My daughter is nine years old. She's reading the book. And it's tough to pull her off the book. <laughs> she loves the book. She's in love with the book. My question is for Karthi. 
so you are a huge star down south, but as far as the whole indie belt is concerned, you are starting out in a way, right? Did you have any inhibitions uh, on what prompted you to take up this project? Nothing, money, sir. <laughs> it's all set there. Uh, but I wouldn't say people don't know me because I went to Kashmir and uh, I took my daughter. We were trying to buy chips. There was only one shop. And I was buying chips and the person there recognized me. He said, aren't you Kashmora? He knew the character that I played. I think we've been getting so much love from the North. People know all of us. I mean, we were uh, stopped by so many people in the airport. So I think it's nothing new. But uh, but I'm very glad that then I'm getting introduced in a proper Hindi film now, because it's releasing in five languages and in a Manisa's film, and especially this kind of a spectacle. I think I'm all the more confident that uh, I'm getting introduced in the right film. I'm going to. Uh, uh, so many people are going to watch this film, so I'm very confident and very, very happy and uh, thankful. Dare I uh, beg to differ, please? Because I think it's uh, it's also an amazing time right now where um, I think we need to um, break away from perceiving uh, in the um, oft, uh, you know, what do you say, typical way of looking at uh, uh, artists or cinema, I think it's such a great time right now where uh, all these barriers have gone down. People know our cinema nationally and in fact they're hankering and they're wanting to see cinema from every part. It was just, I think it's just finally the perfect time where it's become accessible nationally through so many platforms, you know, where everybody can view cinema for what it is uh, across India. So um, I think we need to kind of uh, break away from this um, uh, conventional way of uh, thinking and help our, uh, our viewers, our audience, our readers also uh, to not slide into that uh, typical way of viewing, viewing art. Art has always been uh, there and found the audience and been appreciated and so have the artists. But avenues were limited and today is a great time where it has, has become accessible to everybody and the proof of the pudding is in the eating, right? Can't you see? I mean, it's so evident now where people are embracing and lapping up cinema uh, across the country, which is a great time, very liberating for all of us. And um, we collectively need to kind of give more power to this liberation together, right? Thank you. Actually, it's good to be a newcomer. <laughs> That, that we are assured in a Mariratnam film daily, not only through through every film, on a daily basis. It's always the first time, it's always figuring out how to keep it real and uh, we will always be uh, a, a new student on a daily basis on set and that's why we're all, I think, inspired and excited. And also, he himself is a newcomer. Every time he, his movie, especially this film was like, it's his first film, the effort he's put in and the, the way he has that glee in his eyes every day, Absolutely. the morning and once it's except for my scenes, most of the scenes when he's done through the day, he's very happy. Ah, but <laughs> that's the passion, that's so infectious and contagious. So we, all, we all absolutely are inspired on a daily basis. Everybody, you know, the actors, the technicians, the ADs, and the beauty is his humility. I mean, even now, when, when you say what you do, he keeps saying, really? No, no, no. When he says, sir, how do you know which one? He says, what I know is what I don't want. The rest of it, even I'm willing to find out with you. Which is, I mean, we actually are like, our jaws drop. Even if it's not visible, we're like, I mean, he's actually saying that he's, he's looking to discover it with you, you know, to, to, to find the, the realms or the levels or the depths or how many layers are there to any character or to a scene. He's searching and that is, and that, that it is so pure and so obvious to us, right? That we're all searching constantly and only he knows when the magic happens. We always say that, um, when we think we have cracked it, it's not. And so we'll still be going through figuring out how to get the scene done. And when we wonder, did it really happen, is when he's already moved on to setting up the next shot. And everybody will be confused. We'll all be looking, including we look at the DOP also, and he'll be like, he's moved, it's done. It's got, uh, like, really, it happened now? And that's when, you know, the takers, and this has happened so many times from the first movie till now with him. And I love it, that's magical, because it keeps you, it keeps you searching, and that's that's such a wonderful thing to experience, to feel new, I, feel I, like a newcomer. 
I had requested each one of them to say nice things about me. Just humility, humility, humility is signature. <laughs> so, so that's what's happening. But please you're don't mind well, it. Well. Ignore it. <laughs> you paid us well. <laughs> it's in the name. Yeah, I just want to add on one more thing as well. It's probably why people like us who who have quite a large uh, body of work, we're always different in Manisa's okay. films. It's it's never like any other film we've done or acted in. So even our performance is always different. Thank you. <laughs> I was well paid too. And, and I think <coughs> Ravan is the only film where she told me I like your performance, my performance. <laughs> That's her favorite role to today. Say that again. My question is for Mani sir and Ravi sir. Uh, Mani sir, uh, first of all, please salute you. Can you lift it? Uh, yeah, I can see you. Hi there. We salute you for this magnum opus. And my question is that the novel you choose to adapt the film uh, is about 2,000 pages long and is still conceived in best sense. So, my Hindi audience would like to know you, uh, would like to know you from what you found so special what you found so special in this that it is your dream project. It is your dream project since 90s. So my or in the audience would like to know you what is the uh, special in the novel. So I think uh, there are too many things that are special in the novel, but I'll tell you only what fascinated me, what drew me first into this novel. I was probably finishing school when I first read it and uh, I never thought I would become a filmmaker. I was just like everybody else, I was reading things in this book. I happened to pick up from a lending library and uh, read it and from the time I started reading it, I could see it in front of me. He has written it so vividly that it looked like a spectacle, it looked like large and it looked like something which has, I know. And later I realized that is what's a book. But beyond that, there were other things which was not visible for a you know, <coughs> just finishing school student. That there were people and there were characters and there was uh, intrigue and, uh, and there was absolute adventure. It is just meant for big screen. It has all the, all the glorious thing that uh, you know, a cinema can bring across. I think the two of them blended together, the brilliance and the spectacle, along with the intelligence and characters and you know intrigue and honesty. And with it, he has planted so much of historic details, so much of research, so much of uh, authenticity. And uh, he describes the music that was there, he describes the songs that were written at that time, he describes the temples that were built and you know what who did what and what are the social and cultural revolution that they did. So everything was there. So it was, it was, uh, it not just me. I think the, whoever has read the book, have loved it. Anyone who's in love with a girl, they take her out, they get her a flower, maybe a gift, you know, go for a drive. His wife had an interesting anecdote before they got married. The first time they ever met in a coffee shop, he had this bag and she thought it's a gift. <laughs> and she asked him what it is and he gave five novels of Puneen Sun and said, read this and give me the <laughs> one line now. And she was serious, guys, do you get me something? No, it's just this. He was so obsessed with it that instead of trying to impress her, he gave her the books and books. So I think that's how crazy he's going to about the film. Shari sir, please tell us about your characteristics. Uh, Raja Chola, uh, while playing the uh, movie, uh, what you learned about the character Raja Chola? Yeah, um, first of all, Manisha called me to his office to give me that good news that I'm going to play Raja, Raja Chola. And I heard that, you know, I made sure, is there a third person here so that I'll have a proof of what is what he is saying? Because uh, it's you know, Pony and Selvan. He is Pony and Selvan. So it's an important role. And uh, I was I was having that pressure, first of all. And Mani sir made sure that uh, he took it off me. 
by sharing certain details about the character, by giving me confidence. Then he told me, Ravi, this is the most important for me because we both have to do this. I cannot do it alone. We both have to do it. So whatever concentration you have, put it on the table. Let's do it together. That's what he said first. And uh, I'm a director's actor. Uh, and if it is money, sir, there's no question. You know, I gave my fullest concentration to him. First of all, I had uh, that one hour of delay because uh, I, I kept admiring Manish at first. Whatever he was saying, you know, this is this director who has made this film, that film, Dalapati, Nayak and Roja, you know, that admiration for him didn't go. Then Manish sir pointed it out, Ravi, snap out of it, come on, we have to do it together. It's an important thing which we should address. And uh, he started saying things like, first of all, wherever he sees is his. His kingdom, his people, everything is his. He's politically correct, he's socially correct. And you know how he is with his family, how he is with the other kings, how he's constructed so many dams at the age of 19, 20. That's in the book. So uh, the, these are the things which he said, and I started uh, getting that into my head. And Manisa told uh, me in the same mood get out of my office, I mean not so rudely, <laughs> go out of my office, be Raja Raja Soda for uh, six months before shoot. This cannot happen in a day. So I tried that, I went to my house, sat on my terrace, I saw the people around, all the people of my people. I mean basically I love my people, <laughs> every person and uh, I started realizing that and then there was the beach, then I saw the beach, that beach is also mine. There is a you know, hundred fleet of ship, you know, it's there, everything is mine. Started out comically, but uh, it did help. <coughs> because, you know, uh, our focus in the eye itself will change. We call it, you know, the, the focus shift, right? It'll change, it'll give you a larger vision. Uh, it's beautiful feeling. Uh, and I was Raja Rajasoda for six months at home also, uh, mostly. And when I came to the set, I didn't lose my, uh, my kingdom, yeah. But uh, that, that I didn't do it to my wife, no. <laughs> so that was a beautiful experience. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it's a difficult character because no, he has to be right to everybody. It's not possible. Uh, and he has to find a way to be right to everybody. So it's a brilliant character and I love playing it. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you all for your questions. We would now request our Sarkas to please come forward for a photo. जैसा कि आपने देखा हमारे साथ काफी स्पेशल गेस्ट मौजूद थे और उन्होंने बहुत ही बेहतरीन तरीके से मीडिया के सवालों का जवाब दिया है पीएस वन 30 सितंबर को सिनेमा घरों में रिलीज होगी तो देखते हैं कि जनता को ये मूवी कैसी लगेगी फिलहाल के लिए बस इतना ही आगे की तमाम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस और प्रेस शो के लिए देखते रहिए न्यूज